All right, Timpano TPT 3000 EQ. Let's try one ohm uncertified 40 hertz. This takes us up to clipping. Oh, Lord have mercy. There it goes. What's going on guys? Derek here from Wilson Audio Labs. Today we're going to talk about, uh, yeah, an amplifier test that kind of went awry. And I'm really careful with doing videos like this because I understand I have a rather large audience of people who like to watch amplifier tests. And a few years ago I did a similar test showing amplifier blow up and it all but ran the company out of business. It's never my intention to have those kind of negative effects on a company. I work for you guys, the viewers. Uh, I don't work for any companies. These tests are all independent. I do them, I buy the stuff and I do it myself. So I just wanted to show you uh, the results. I did uh, have two different amplifiers in. The first one was actually sent by a distributor. They wanted me to try it out and it did not have a positive result. It actually blew up. So instead of me posting that video since I was sent the amp, I actually bought another one and had the same result. So I'm going to show you that here in the test. What I would say is these amps are really designed for kind of a full range operation. They're not really designed for the base operation. If you keep an eye on the current pull, you'll notice that we pulled quite a bit more current than is recommended for the amplifier. And I believe that it doesn't have a current over protection circuit and that's what caused the amplifier to blow up the power supply section. But it was rather impressive blow up and I would be pretty scared to have something like this in my car if this was, were to happen. So I would say if you plan on using these amps, I would underfuse them and I would run them at an ohm load higher than they're recommended. And I don't think Timpano makes this amp. I think it's actually made by Stetsum and we can get some confirmation on that. I did not get a Stetsum amp in to test to show if it did the same thing, but if you look at the design, the layout, even the aesthetics on the outside, the Stetsum amps looks, look exactly the same, the EX3000. So anyway, it is what it is. Stay tuned, I'm gonna show you all the tests and I'm gonna show you the exciting part that you may want to see. Again, not trying to slam any company here. I'm just trying to show you guys what happens or what can happen. So be careful, stay tuned. All right, let's take a closer look here at the Timpano website. You can see they offer a variety of items. We're gonna look at Amplifier today. They have models ranging from 800 watts up to 10,000 watts. But we're gonna check out the TPT 3000 EQ the one ohm model you can see here even on the website it's two hundred and nineteen dollars and you can also see the power ratings there fifteen hundred twenty four hundred and thirty five fifty four ohms two ohms and one ohm now watt per dollar wow two hundred and twenty bucks thirty five fifty that's only six cents per watt that's probably the cheapest amp i've ever seen also, as far as dimensions go, for a 3,000 watt amplifier, 8.75 by 7.4 by 3 inches is pretty small footprint. It's a little thicker being 3 inches, but yeah, it's really small. And here you can see the side that has RCA inputs, speaker outputs, has some adjustment knobs. Let's take a little closer look. First off, notice that the RCA seem to be backwards. Not really sure what's up with that. But we have a level control, high pass filter, low pass filter. We have a bass, mid bass and mid-high and according to the Stetson manual 45 hertz 270 hertz and 2 kilohertz also 8 gauge speaker outputs on the opposite end we just have 4 gauge for the power inputs and a remote turn on for turning on the amp and the box with the amplifier really is just a technical specification sheet and a troubleshooting guide did not come with a manual didn't talk about what size fuse to use nothing like that but if you look on their website, it says their internet sales policy. If you buy anything on the internet, then they will not warranty the item. Very odd because there's a lot of sellers that seem to be authorized sellers selling this. So let's take a closer look here at the amp on the dyno. All right, so today we're testing the Timpano TPT 3000 EQ, which looks a lot like a Stetson amp. And I've had problems with Stetson amps in the past. So I've actually got... I'm gonna have three different cameras. Two cameras are gonna be set up on the amp. One's gonna be set up on the dyno so you can see what the test 
results are, but we're gonna have these set up just in case we have some kind of a fire show, which I hate to think that we might, but just in case, so let's find out. The amp is wired up, we've powered it on. Let's go ahead and try the amp dyno test. First off, we're gonna try the four ohm test. It's rated 1150 watts at 12.6, 1500 at 14.4, Probably be somewhere right in the middle. Certified takes up to 1% THD. 1126 watts. Uncertified takes us up to clipping. 1137 at 13.74. Dynamic power. This is again, all these are using the 40 hertz test tone, so it's simulating subwoofer sound. And 1160 watts. So not quite up to the snuff there of its ratings. Next up, we'll try two ohms, see what we get. Yeah, see how it did it again? So it didn't count up cleanly above 900 and something watts, which is really odd, but uh, yeah, it is what it is. Pulled 219 amps, wow, at 1,323 watts. So not so good, my friends. So anything under the four ohm test, when I tried it certified, it would not run up cleanly. So that's just an uh, indication here of distortion. Uncertified at two ohms, we got 1,793 watts at 13.88. Then we tried the dynamic test. Again, simulating subwoofers with a 40 hertz pulse tone. We got right at 2,000 watts, 1,956 at 13.2. All right, friends, here we have the Tempano TPT 3000 EQ hooked up. It still has these wimpy four gauge terminals. So we have four gauge to zero gauge reducers and we're going straight into the bank of eight excess power D1400 batteries. And then we're hooked up as always to the Alpine 9815 head unit, which has been proven over and over. It's a super clean, nice output head unit. So let's try it out here on the dyno. We're gonna try the one ohm test now and see what it does. All right, just so you notice here, I did run the dynamic test at one ohm first. So that's the one we'll show first. Again, it's rated 3000 watts at 12.6, 3550 at 14.4. Let's see what we get. All right, looks like it did it rated, it's rated power. 3066 watts at one ohm 13.16. All right, Tempano TPT 3000 EQ. Let's try one ohm uncertified 40 hertz. This takes us up to clipping of the amplifier. It's rated 3000 watts at 12.6. So we should have more than 12.6 at the end of this run. Let's see what we're at right now. We're starting off at about 15 volts, 15.01. So here we go. Hold on to your hats. Have mercy, there it goes. It is on fire, my friends. It's actually on fire. Look at this, it blew up, and I heard flames, I heard fire on the inside. <laughs> oh my gosh, I didn't see those ending numbers, but I do know I got to open up my door here to let the smell out. Wow. That's rated ohm, one ohm, uncertified. You can see, pulled 334 amps, so it doesn't have any over uh, current protection, it appears, and yeah, it just uh, blew up. So, hmm, I would have to say, if you're gonna use one of these, make sure that you under fuse it big time. We had 300 amp fuse on it. Uh, I would recommend probably a 200 amp fuse to be safe. But man, all right, I gotta open up the door, air this place out. Oh, Lord have mercy, there it goes. It is on fire, my friends. It's 
actually on fire. See, there it goes. It is on fire, my friends. It's actually on fire. All right, now we're going to use the trusty screwdriver kit that we keep talking about. You can get on Amazon. Oh, my. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna move this off the tripod so you guys can see it better. Definitely see down there the power supply section is burnt up pretty dang good or pretty bad, however you wanna say it, but they don't have overcurrent protection apparently. Okay, and once it gets a little over 300 amps worth of current pull, then it just goes up in magnificent array of flames, which was actually pretty scary. I do have a fire extinguisher here in the lab, but um, I don't want to use it unless I have to because it's going to make a big, huge mess on my bench. She burnt up. Oh, well. Again, if you're going to use one of these and run one of these, my recommendation is to underfuse it significantly. Um, make sure, you know, this is a 3,000 watt amp. I wouldn't put more than a 200 amp fuse on this just to be safe. But, um, Oh well, there you go. Here are the results of the Tempano 1 ohm TPT 3000 EQ, 1126 watts at 4 ohms, 1323 at 2 ohms, and 1 ohm went up in smoke. <laughs> I greatly appreciate if you guys give me a thumbs up for the video, for spending my money, for showing you guys what's up. I know you might give it a thumbs down for the amp, but please thumbs up for the video. All right, guys, there you have my test. The Tempano TPT 3000 EQ. We tested a 2 ohm model and a 1 ohm model. Both of them went up in smoke. So all I can say is be really careful with these. Make sure you underfuse them. I would recommend a 150 amp fuse and just be real careful with them. We don't want to see this happen to anybody's car, any, anybody's car go up in flames because of an amp not having a protection circuitry. I hate making videos like this, but I have to inform the public that's going to use these amplifiers that you have to be really careful so it is what it is so till next time big d you know where i'm at i'm out of here She has gone up in smoke. We are turning it off. <laughs> well, my friends, once again, gotta be careful with these. <sighs> Jeez, had it fused too, but she's stinging up my lab and I'm gonna take it outside so you're gonna have to excuse me for a minute